Well, disappointed end to last season, but let's just forget about it and move on. But hopefully, this is the season where we create a good enough squad to take us from Tier 8 all the way up into Tier 7. Hello and welcome to part 34 Flight to the Premier with British Airways and coming up in today's, today's episode we've got our end of season review and we will also be doing a lot of transfer business and I mean a lot of transfer business because we've got a lot of players leaving the club at the moment. I haven't sorted out contracts yet at the moment but let's take a look at our season review. Let's take a look at the players that did come in in this season or throughout this season but just take a look at some of the players that we probably might be saying goodbye to and one of them will be Prosper Keto. he came in pretty pretty all right 15 goal contributions didn't really set the world alight but he pretty much came in as a backup probably more like your first choice but he probably he's just not good enough for this level in my opinion but Hewitt he is one player that is definitely good enough for this level he will be staying with us for this season. Similar to Jordan Geacock, a great player, but obviously we won't be extending his loan. Similar to Jeremiah, not, he was a good player, but just not good enough for this league. I mean, he was good when he came on, but he's not really a starter, so he's going to be another player that we will say bye-bye to. Then Ferreira, a good backup, but just just not good enough for this level. Maybe, maybe tier 9, yes. He would be an absolute class. And Ryan Davies, um, he's too good for us. But somehow we, we've got him for another season. And Matthew Weir will be leaving us at the end of this season. I think, yeah, yeah, he will be leaving us. Because he's, he's just not good enough. He's too old, not good enough. And then Mitch Aston, a very good player. Someone I would love to offer a new contract to. But he is um, he's a little bit unhappy. But hopefully his mood sort of changes towards the end of his contract hopefully that's a plan but we'll see then harry rotty a, a good player i uh, didn't realize was on loan so obviously we'll get in a, in a fair few center backs and jeff lewis a great player probably be our first choice this season because i don't see um i don't see uh, jack dixon staying with us for next season because he was okay this season but not the best in Elliot Andrew. Let's not talk about him because he, he rarely played because he's absolutely terrible. Then Sam Jolly, another great player who will be staying with us for this season. And Jacob Jagger came, pretty much came in, pretty much as emergency backup. Then Jeremy Brunswick played well, not too good, but just alone, just a um, a um, emergency backup, really. Just uh, like he, he, the Hewitt replacement, I think he was. But it wasn't good at all. The board expectation was to avoid relegation, which I think we exceeded that massively by finishing the playoffs. Might have not gone to plan, but it doesn't matter. We um we stayed up. That's the main thing. Then FA Cup, it sort of um it went a bit pear shaped. Then FA Trophy a little bit better. We got to the third qualifying round, so I wouldn't mind trying to get to the first round. Then Velocity Cup. That doesn't really matter. Our biggest win this season was a 5-2 win over Chalfont St. Peter. Our match to remember was our 4-2 win over Ringate and Finchley. And goal of the season went to Ryan Davies. You know what? Let's take a look at that goal. I don't actually remember this goal. Was it in an episode or was it off camera? I think it might have been an off camera goal. I was like, obviously don't remember it. Dixon plays the ball out to Davies. Or oh, what's this? It's an okay goal. It's pretty much like, just like an average, just on the edge of the area shot. Um, club reputation has stayed the same. It probably won't go up for quite a while, probably until we get to the um, Banorama stages of the season. The annual revenue, some bits have gone up, some bits have gone down. I wouldn't mind trying to get a bit more competition prize money this season. I did go on a run in the FA Cup, but. That's probably fairly normal. I'd say a uh, sponsorship hasn't really gone down. It's stayed the same, so that should really be amber, not red. Then broadcast revenue, again, we don't have any because none of our games is televised, so I'm not sure why it's saying that. Then our best 11 for this year was Hughes in goal, 
the back four, Ferreira, Rutty, Johnny, Keto, G. Cook and Davies, Dixon, Hewitt, Francis and Baton. So not a bad, not a bad little lineup that was. Um, Aid Francis with France player of the season, Jack Dixon with young player of the season, obviously Hewitt got signing of the season, Ryan Davies obviously we know got goal of the season, Malcolm Baton finished top goal scorer with 20 goals, Francis uh, most assists. Then, obviously, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, Aid Francis is our new most league appearances by a player with 138. I mean, I think that's going to be a long time before that record gets broken, possibly. I very much uh, doubt it. But we have had the um, our um, uh, expectations. Um, but basically, similar to last season, play attack of football, play possession football, Make the most of set pieces, play entertaining football, play high tempo impressive football, work within the wage budget. We are struggling with that because they never actually upgraded our wage budget. It's literally stayed the same. So we are over that by £353. But we do have players leaving. So the players currently leaving will be obviously all of the lone players will leave the club. Obviously, Matthew Will will leave the club, Elliot Andrews leaving. A Francis, I would have loved to offer him a, him a new contract, but he just uh, he just also doesn't want to sign one. Then Jacob, Jacob Jacker Kane leaving, Jeremiah is leaving. I mean, hundred pounds. Uh, we can do a lot with that. That's probably we could probably sign two, three players with that. Then Keto, he's going to be leaving. Then Mitch Aston is one of the players who is is unhappy. So. We'll leave it a good a good month or two, then we'll make our decision on him. Then Hughes I mean he's a good player for this league, but sixty four goals conceded. Eight clean sheets. That's it sixty four goals conceded in thirty two games. I mean that's two goals a game. That's not really good enough. So I think we do I think we do release Hughes. No, we might keep him as a backup. Then Butlin yeah, he's not really good enough. What league is Hughes? What what the best as? You know what? I think you know what we'll we'll offer Hughes a new contract. See what he uh agrees to. He might he might be first choice for next season. He might not be. What's his current contract? Oh, I say I can't. We we're not in the financial position to offer him a big wage rise. I can do um sixty quid. That's pretty much my. Maximum, you want 65 then? I don't think we're gonna offer. He's not, he's not going to accept, is he? I'm not offering you like 30, 30 pound rage rise because financially we're not strong enough. Not going to happen, not going to happen at all. So, we are going to be having a fairly big rebuild this summer. Started off with, um, but so how many who's staying? Who is staying? Hewitt is staying, that's that's fine. Arusu is staying, Jolly is staying, Davies is staying. I mean, how does not how did I mean if an EFL club comes in with twenty two K, I'm obviously gonna accept it, but we might struggle to keep hold of him, then obviously Jeff Lewis is staying, so I don't mind releasing Dixon because we do have Jeff Lewis um coming into the first team. So I think um I think we've got a good core of players, obviously See some obviously we will use and abuse the loan system like always, but stay true. Um, let's um, I'm going to probably just hop forward to the first day of the transfer window. We may have signed some players. I very much doubt we've sold some players, but who knows what the future holds for us? Well, it's currently the 9th of June, and the transfer window has just opened. And I am pleased to announce we have signed four. Players so far, they are first one being Ryan Chavez Munoz. He's a English centre mid. I mean, with a name like that, surely he's got span a Peruvian second nationality. I mean, that's um, understandable. He's a centre mid, two and a half stars of current ability, four and a half star potential. Good player for this league, potentially could make the step up into tier seven. Uh, he comes in on a free transfer from uh, previously of. Leamington, Cray Valley, I think he's probably been um, unemployed for quite some time, I think. Or he might have actually been at Cray Valley last. I'm um, not really sure where he actually really recently played. 
And next up is Peter Malham. He's a English left back. Could also play centre back, but preferably he's going to be a left back. One and a, two and a half stars for current busy. Five star potential. He's a good player for this thing. Potentially tier seven. He comes in on a free transfer from Benerike Town. Also um, started off his career at Warsaw, so not too bad then. Next up is James Lawless. He's a Irish goalkeeper. Two and a half stars. Three and a half star potential. He's a decent player for this thing. Can, can improve slightly. He comes in on a free transfer from Barnet Town. So not a bad, not a bad uh, club to start your career off at. And next up is Godwin James. He's a 21-year-old English centre attacker mid. Three stars of current ability, four and a half star potential. He's a good player for this thing. Can improve a lot, which does excite me. So that means we do have two very decent attacker midfielders. Godwin James and Samson Hewitt. So very good. He comes in on a free transfer from Bath City. So not too bad. Actually played for Brook House at um, down at tier 10. Did we? Did we play against him? I feel like we might have. Well, he only played six games. So if we did, um, lucky, um, I very much doubt we did play him. So to start with, um, not a bad bunch of players. I'm, I'm fairly sure some of them might be first team starters. Maybe... Chavez Munoz, um, he'll probably be starting most games. The other three, they're very much just young players. Who I think most of them are in the first first team squad. They're all in the first team squad. Most of them, some of them might be back up, some of them first choice. But at the moment, this is the squad going into next season. Obviously, reading down the contracted players. Um, Chavez Munoz, Hewitt, Arusu, Jolly, Butlin, James, Davies, Lewis... Pat Malham and Lawless. We have, um, I think we have offered uh, contracts to, yeah, we offered um, a new contract to Butler, which he did accept. Then we do, we have offered a new contract to Oliver, Oliver Hemlin, so he's going to be staying with us for, uh, at the very least, one more season, because I think he can, um, I think he can play at this level. He won't improve, but I reckon he'll be a good player. You, you just, um, I think Aston got in the way of him a bit too much. So, at the moment, the squad for next season is actually looking quite good. But at the moment, wages are a big concern. I don't really want to spend over 50, 60 quid on a player uh, in terms of wages. I mean, Johnny is already on £75, but there's nothing I could have done about that. Obviously, Davies is on £90, but I can live with a couple of players over 50 quid, but... Um, We'll just uh, we'll just see what the wage situation is like towards um, when uh, we release the players because I'm not sure how much spare wage budget we will end up having. So by the looks of it, I reckon we'll have at least um, 400 quid spare wage budget because we're who's leaving was on 90 quid, Andrew on 70 quid, Francis on 85. I mean, that's at least 200 pounds right there. So I, I reckon it'll, it'll be fine. We'll be fine. It's just... Um, Let's just not worry about the finances, but there is always um there's always a chance we could end up going into administration because um a, a couple of episodes ago before I hit record we were rumoured with uh, going into administration, so we could do. I mean, I know the owner loves the club, but realistically, in the next season or two, I really want to take over because we've never had one, we've never been really with one, with one, so it would be nice to have one. But hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully not now, because that will really um, hamper the transfer season. So um, I will come back um, uh, roughly about beginning of July after the first batch of trialists have left the club. Where hopefully we have some, we will have signed a couple more players. One. Well, it's currently the fourteenth of July. We've got little. We've just got roughly about three, four weeks before our. First game of the season, and I've got a confession to make. Um, we haven't signed anyone in July yet. Um, we're sort of struggling. We've offered players loads of contracts. Like, we're still waiting on this guy to make up his mind. Obviously, yes, we are offering hundred thirty well, hundred thirty pounds per week. So that's the that's the point we've got to because we've offered loads of try lists, but none of them seem to want to come in. We've offered absolute tons of try lists. We offered them, but 
just they, they've just all started off to different clubs, which um obviously we we're struggling. We are really struggling. So this is the squad we are currently working with. I would say currently working with. Um obviously at the moment we've got James Norris as our only goalkeeper. Obviously he's out for two to four weeks, so we definitely need another goalkeeper. Obviously left backs we're actually all sorted for because we've got Peter Malham, who technically is a centre back, but he's a left back. Uh, Charlie Butler, so left backs, we're, we're actually all sorted for. Then centre backs, we've got, we've just got Sam Jolly at the moment, so we need another couple of centre backs, so uh, three to be precise. Centre mid, so that's uh, that's actually the one position we're actually looking quite good for. Potentially just need one more, so we basically need pretty much everything, like just everything. That's all we need. Like it's this transfer window, I thought it'd be easy as we progress but absolutely not i mean for it's really hard i think we will use and abuse the loan system no matter how good they are or bad i will bring in some loads um so um i will try and um, bring in 10 or we've got i don't know how big our squad is at the moment so judging by this i think that's all the players in the first team we've got 11 players I don't think there's anyone lurking down here or oh, that are any good. No, they're all greyed out. They're greyed out um, abilities. So they're definitely not any good for the first team yet. So, yeah, this um, this doesn't look good considering our first match is... Oh, yikes. It's um, Our first match is 15 days. It's two weeks, our first game. Oh, my God. Um, so I've got two weeks... To sign 11 players. Can't be that hard surely. Well we have made it to the beginning of the brand new season. I'm pleased to announce. Well, I have got together a squad. I'm not sure if it's good enough. But I've signed. I've got together a 22 man squad. Let's just leave it there. Um, I'm not sure if many of the players are good enough. But let's take a look at the players we have signed in this episode. We'll start off with the players that we signed on the back end of last season, started off with James Lawless. He's an Irish goalkeeper, 19 years old, two stars of capability, five star potential. He's a decent player for this league, potentially tier seven. He signed, resigned him on a free transfer, formerly of Barnet. As a as a loan spell with the United, we may have actually even was that our league? Yes, that was our league. We might have, no no, we wouldn't have played against him. Definitely not. Then next up is Peter Malham. He's a 19-year-old English left back. Two and a half stars of capability, five star potential. He's a good player for this league, potentially tier seven. He came in on a free transfer from Benerike. Also a playing experience uh, for the Warsaw youth team. Then next up is Ryan Chavez Munoz. He's a English sentiment, questionable nationality, but he does have Peru as a second nationality. He's a two stars co ability, four and a half star potential. Decent player for this league, potentially tier seven. He came in on a free transfer from Leamington Town. That's, I think that's a pretty good signing. Then next up is Godwin James. He's a English 21 year old centre attacker mid. Three stars co ability, five star potential. Good player for this league, potentially tier seven or above. He came in on a free transfer from Bath City. Then moving on swiftly to this season, the players you have not met yet. Some of them are good. Some of them are a little bit worse, mainly because they're just a backup. First up is Aaron Davies. He's a 21-year-old English goalkeeper. Two and a half stars of current ability, five star potential. He's a good player for this league, potentially Southern League Premier South or enough for us tier seven. He came in on a free transfer from Bareford. So, obviously, he uh, conceded 50 goals last year. Um, we'll work with that for this year. But what league is that? That is regional first. Yikes. So, that's the same tier as us. So, hopefully, he doesn't concede 50 goals. I won't mind him. Well, I won't mind that as long as we score loads. <laughs> then, next up is Michael Tate. He's a 27-year-old. English left winger, two stars of current ability, decent player for this league. 
He came in on a free transfer from Warsaw Wood. Actually started off his career at Aston Villa. Didn't really notice that. Then next up is Kashanga Kashkin. Kashanga. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's an English 21-year-old striker. Three and a half stars of current ability. Five star potential. Good player for this league. Potentially. Banarama North South. That's not this league. Yes, it is. He, in other words, he, he, could, he could go far. He's a really good striker. He comes in on a free transfer from Merthyr Town in, down in Fanarama South. Yeah, the, still in the Fanarama South. Not sure how we've actually got him, but he did start his career off at Bournemouth. So, another player from a Premier, former Premier League club. Then next up is Riley. Haran, he's a 21-year-old English centre-back, three and a half stars of current ability, five-star potential. He's a good player for this thing, potentially tier seven. He can come in on a free transfer from Barwell, who are regional premier, so got experience from the higher league, so not too shabby. Then next up is Devante Willimont. He's a 21-year-old English centre-back, two stars of current ability, Five star potential, decent player for this league, potentially tier seven. He comes in on loan from Forest Green for this season, so a good player to have from a good, a solid League Two club. So not a bad choice to have a loan spell with this season. So I'm quite happy with that signing. I'm not sure if he'll start most games. He'll probably just be a, tend to be a backup, I think. Then next up is Harvey Gardner. He's a 28 year old English centre back. One and a half stars of current bids. He is an emergency backup, so that's why. He's a leader in uh, currently league. I'm not really sure why we signed him, but he was. I think um, most of these signings I'm saying now are pretty much panic buys, but most of them were decent signings, so can't really call him a panic buy. Anyway, he comes in on a free transfer from Leicester Town. Let's just Leicester who are in what league are they they're regional first so same tier as us but obviously different league so i reckon he might be a good one was he was he leading counties league yeah he definitely won't be good enough for this thing but who knows he probably might play one or two games but or we might just forget about him forget he exists and next up is curtis de rose he's a 24 year old english right rigger two and a half stars of current ability four sub potential He's a good player for this league, potentially tier 7. He's not a right mid, is he? What was he? He's not better than Jeff Lewis. By the way, this season will be our first choice, so DeRose will be back up. He comes in on a free transfer from Colville Town, so not a bad player. So he actually had quite a long career at Rotherham, um, made two appearances for them in the championship, and getting one goal, then his um, career sort of happened. Went downhill. Next up is Kingsley Obinya. He's a Nigerian 21 year old striker. Two stars of current ability, four and a half star potential. Decent player for this league, potentially tier seven. He comes in on loan from Taunton Town. Um, he's pretty much done the non league tour. Um, loads of loan spells. Um, but hopefully, he's, um, he'll be a good striker for us. Hopefully, that's the plan. Just a backup, but. Might play some games here and then. And next up, last not least, um, is Hamza Semyakula. Semyakula, Semyakula, I don't really know. Hamza is a 26-year-old English sentiment, three stars of current ability, four star potential. He's a good player for this league, leading player for this league. So he's not going to make the, he might make the step up. He comes in on a free transfer from Groydon. Athletic, is he another player that played against us in the FA Cup two seasons ago? Is he? He might have been. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look because I can't really can't be bothered. So that's this is what the squad currently looks like going into the FA Cup game. We'll ignore Eddie McCormack because he's um just a, a youth player, so I'm not sure why he's in the squad because we do have Two strikers in the squad. So the goalkeepers going into this season at the moment are Davies and Lawless. Johnson is, what is it? He's 
in the under 21. So go down to the under 21s. We don't need you here. They're right backs for this season. We've just got Arusu at the moment. Okay, then. Just Arusu, nobody else. Then centre backs, we've got Gardiner, Haran, Willimont, and Jolly. Left backs for this season, we've got Peter Malham and Charlie Butlin, who is injured. Obviously, hopefully he's not out for long. 11 days to four weeks. Um, that's a bit of a weird uh, time scale. So I'd say he's probably closer to four weeks than two weeks. Um, then centre mids, we've got Chavez, Munoz, Hamza, Hemlin and Ryan Davies. So I'm pretty happy with the centre mid selection. A lot of good players, um, some decent potential for Munoz, so hopefully he fulfills that this season or within the next couple of seasons. Then right wingers, we've got Lewis as the first choice, DeRose as backup, centre attacking mids, Hewitt and Godwin James, they can pretty much interchange whenever they want because they're, in terms of ability and potential, they are exactly the same. Hewitt showing up as the all five star potential. Godwin James just showing up as a four star potential, potentially five. Then left wingers, we've just got Michael Tate at the moment, so we will keep an eye out for a, another left winger and another right back. So probably loans, I think. Then strikers this she, this season, we've got Kashakumya. I think that, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Kashakumya and Kingsley Obinya. So not. I'd say not not a bad. I mean, looking at that, if you saw it by ability, and it's pretty pretty horrific. But I think looking at that, it's not a bad. It's not a bad little team. I I think um I would if you had told me like three like three weeks ago in game time, you wouldn't have had like ten players to fill a squad. Whereas now we can safely fill a 22, 23 man squad. I'd be biting your arm off every day of the week so I think that's a, a pretty good I'm, I'm fairly confident going into this season let's take a look at the season preview see where it predicts us fifth place finish I mean the judging by the squad I think that's realistic I think we can do that hashtag United are in the squad um, in the league um, what happened to them did they they finished 19th. Uh, Jay Defero is still their manager. Have they had a takeover? No. Spencer and Seb are still um, in the boardroom. Um, their director of football is called Ban Ollie. <laughs> that's, that's, that's absolute. I mean, it's absolutely hilarious. Let's take a look at their squad. They've got they've got quite a small squad, haven't they? Um, Still got Jeremy Mukendi, he's a, he's a good player. I'm not sure how they've uh, still got him. Um, uh, here's to me, most of the other players that play for them in real life have sort of got, maybe apart from Pedro, he's a, looks like a quite a decent player. What's happened to Toby? Toby Romanow, where are you? You have gone to Biggles Raid. Um, okay. I suspect you don't need to play any football now since you've been on Love Island. I don't expect you're a millionaire, possibly. I very much doubt that. So I think we'll call it there for now. So I will see you all in the next episode where we'll be playing our first FA Cup fixture of the season against Seven Oaks and our first league game of the season against London Colony. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Delicate Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.